What's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up the Elgato HD60 and get some PC gameplay audio because a lot of people have been having trouble with that. So let's get started. So first you want to take your HDMI and have that plugged into the HD60. Not on this side, you want the side with the two plug-ins, so that would be this side. And you want to get that HDMI going from here, the capture card, into your laptop. And then you want to take your micro USB out of the HD60 and plug it into the 2.0 spot in your laptop. The 3.0 does not work, it just does not work with Elgato. So that's that. You don't need to use this side. This is for like consoles like PS4 and 360 or Xbox One or what are you guys are using. But uh, just these two cords for the PC. And now I'll show you how to do the audio, like the internal stuff. All right. So first off, you don't want to be buying the extra cords or the extra programs on the internet. All you got to do is use the programs that come with the Elgato sound capture and game capture. So first you want to make sure sound capture is opened. You want to be on PC gaming. You want to have your headset or your speakers on where you want to hear your gameplay. And the output you want to make sure it's set to Elgato Intel R display audio or the Elgato option. Sometimes it'll show up automatically or sometimes you have to do it manually. For the game capture program you want to make sure your live commentary is up enabled and game audio is turned all the way down and you're going to be getting that annoying echo that is extremely frustrating and thirdly you want to make sure you're down in mixer so this is mixer but if you're curious how to open that you want to go here playback you want to make sure your speakers with the elgato symbol are set to default. These will not show up if disabled devices are not on show. You will not be able to turn it on if this sound capture program is turned off. So you want to make sure you have this set to default device. You want to go to recording. You want to make sure the microphone is set to default communications device. Again, make sure disabled or showed. Then you need to go to Stereo Mix, also a disabled device, Properties, Listen, press Listen to this device, make sure it's checked. Playback through this device, you want to make sure it's the Intel Elgato R Display Audio option again. You can do either of these or both just battery power management. It's a preference, press OK, press OK. I'm going to give you an example of how this works. Um, so I'm going to mute my mic, turn on some music, and we'll be good to go. So that's that. Please, um, if this was helpful, like and subscribe and comment. I really hope it did help and fix some problems because this is a huge issue that Elgato has not seemed to fix or really inform anyone. But there's nothing really they can do about it. You just got to make sure you're being proactive and figuring it out yourself, I suppose. All right. Thanks, everyone. And again, please like and subscribe.